hello, how's it going? My name is Elena. Today, I'm finally gonna be showing you guys my room. I am living in a little house, or a little beach bungalow, as we like to refer to it, um, in San Diego with five of my friends. So there's six of us total. We're all in college in our senior year, and so we all decided to room together in this little house off campus, right by the ocean. It's super fun. And I'll be doing a house tour soon, too, as well, but for now, it's just the room tour. I basically have a very tiny space, as you'll see, and so hopefully you guys kind of get some inspiration for not only, like, decorating, but also how to organize your room and your stuff when you don't have a lot to work with, which I would say is my case. So without further ado, let me show you guys around. So I'm just gonna kinda show you guys this vlog style. So I share a room with my roommate, Grace, and our room is pretty much in the back of the house. This is the dining room, and then here is the entrance to our room. And this is our closet, but I'll explain that more in a little bit. We have these two glass doors, so privacy isn't much of a thing, but we do have this curtain here, because people are always over, people are always in the dining room. I am now in the far corner of my room. It is super tiny, you might not be able to tell, from other like routine videos I've done or whatnot. It might seem like I have a big room. Super tiny, but we totally make it work. So this all over here is Grace's side, but then over here is my side. This right here is basically all my personal space in this whole house. Everything else is free for all. With six girls living in a tiny house, there is not a lot of like privacy or feeling like you have your own space. So basically from this, <laughs> dresser to the wall is what I feel like is my personal space. I do have a twin bed. It is not XL. I am six feet and my feet tend to hang off the bed, but you know what? That's okay. I just got this white comforter from Ikea. I recently picked up this throw blanket from TJ Maxx and let me tell you it has been the best purchase. It is so soft and it's been so great during the winter time to have to cuddle up with. And then over here, I just have these pillows. Um, this pillow is from Ikea, I believe. This one's from Ikea as well. And then this one is from Society6. That's pretty much it for my bed. It's not super exciting. I'm kind of working on it still, but it, you know, it works. And then next to my bed over here, we have my little night side table. Um, over here, I keep my tripod. Here is where I just kind of store all of my jewelry. Just the stuff I use like most frequently so I have easy access to take it on and off. Here I have this uh, crystal, I believe it's amethyst, and then just this cute little tiny cactus over here. Now jumping into this dresser, I actually got this at a thrift store for I think $20 and I painted over white and I changed the knobs. So this first drawer is kind of miscellaneous. I keep like whatever book I'm reading latest here. I have my journal, I have my Bible, and then just other random stuff like, you know, biotin. Yeah, just kind of random. And then in here I keep like bras, bralettes, underwear. And then in here are all my socks, bandanas, and belts. To the right of my nightstand table, I almost always put my backpack right there just because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Now coming over to my decorations, I have this little crystal right here. I hung my two favorite hats right here. They're both from Lack of Color. I absolutely love them. They're so fun to wear. Then over here is the art I've decided to hang up. We love it right now. I might add more, we'll see. I don't like things to look too cluttered. Both me and my roommate really like kind of having clean, open space. That's kind of airy as you can see with lots of plants, but I do love art. Over here we have a photo I just found online and I love it. I thought it had super like retro vibes, which I'm always a fan of. I didn't print this one professionally, I actually just print this out online. The same with this one, I actually got this out of a surfing magazine I thought it was gorgeous. This one I got from Society6, professionally printed and whatnot. Same with this one, also from Society6. I thought they were just both beautiful pieces of art. This one is from Society6 as well, it says L'Amour. And then over here we have Rolling Stones, of course. I absolutely love the Rolling Stones. And this is actually a record I have of theirs, and I just took the record out and just placed it within the pile of the rest of my records, but decided to hang up the actual, you know, record case or whatever you call it. And the vast majority of these frames I actually found at different um, thrift stores like Salvation Army and Goodwill for just a few dollars. And then once I found the frames, I tried to kind of find artwork that I liked that matched with it. And so that's how this wall came to be. So now jumping over to our bedside table, me and Gray split this 50-50 um, just because we kind of have to because there's not room for anywhere else to store our clothes. Over here we have our diffusers. So we can diffuse essential oils and then just some more plants, of course, as well as this gorgeous hanging plant. 
And so jumping over here, I have this skull piggy bank, this salt lamp I got from TG Maxx, Gone with the Wind, great book, and then just some hair products. All right, so this is my side. So I'll give you guys kind of a little rundown of how I have my things organized. In this side, I have all my crop tops right here, as well as all my bathing suits back there. Over here is kind of where I keep like my pajamas and sweats and kind of just like lounge clothing. And then in here, I have all my shirts and shorts and workout clothes. As you can tell, I have things folded very tightly. Um, I kind of feel like I've mastered the best way to fold for having a small space, which is to fold sideways. So I kind of have my shorts right here, I have my workout clothes here, and then I just have all of my like band tees and other t-shirts right in here. And then down here, I have all my pants. I've thrifted quite a few pairs recently, so it's pretty full at the moment. Also, I've just kind of folded them in a way so I can get to them easily and kind of see what I have and make sure they can all fit. I'm showing you guys under the bed. In here, I keep all my dirty clothes in kind of like this canvas bag, as you can see. That's like my hamper. I just don't have any space anywhere else for a hamper. In here is where I keep all my bags. Um, I absolutely adore tote bags, so I have so many of them. I kind of love to get a new one everywhere I go. So this is great for storing a lot under my bed. It really helps. And then next to it is this guy, and this is kind of what I consider like my technology container almost. I have like all my different cords and cameras, and then in here I kind of just keep any school supplies. I have the sticker from Sam Weir on my calculator, I totally forgot about that. I actually measured out the width of my bed and then went to Target and got different containers that were a size that would fit accordingly under my bed. And the last tub under here is definitely more just like a miscellaneous tub. I use the like, products I use quite as much in here so I can still have access to them. And then this is literally just miscellaneous, like stuff I kind of think I need to go through and you know, get rid of. And then over here... I swear this looks like a shrine to Glossier. I love Glossier. I have all of like my favorite Glossier products and some other companies, but I adore Glossier as you probably know. These down here are my roommate Grace's. We have another plant and a mirror up here to do our makeup because we don't have any mirrors. Grace and I absolutely adore plants. It's becoming a bit of a jungle, but we're very okay with it becoming more so. Grace, thankfully, is down to water them all, and she is the one that does that. I love having plants, but I'm not as good for caring for them, so thank goodness she waters them, or else I'd probably kill them if we're being honest. That's our room, and then this is Grace's side, but we did kind of try to decorate together, so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. She has really cute little decorations. We also have this lovely chandelier that was here when we came here. Um, kind of all the rooms in the house actually have a chandelier. And another thing about a room that I absolutely adore that's kind of unique is the fact that we have this little side door right there. This is my bed. As you can see, that's the door to the dining room. And then right here, we have this lovely little side door, which you may have seen in some of my vlogs. Um, but it just kind of leads to this back patio area. Here, Grace has some more plants she's growing. I think there's some basil and some other cacti. And so one of my absolute favorite parts is this hammock right here. This actually came with the house and I absolutely adore it. It's like my little refuge after a, a long day. I'll just go and relax there. And then this right here is actually actually an avocado tree which is so amazing because I'm obsessed with avocados. It's so nice to be able to just literally come right outside my door and be able to just relax on this hammock. Whenever I need like a little breather just right outside and I get to sit under the shade of the avocado tree. I love it. This room was pretty squished after we put our beds in there. And so we actually have our closet in the dining room. Here's the love of a dining room table. And then yes, here is our armoire. Whenever we have people over to eat and I need to, you know, change or go somewhere, I'm literally at the closet, like pulling clothes out while people are eating right here. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Then coming in, this is my side. Um, it's pretty, Pretty squish, especially as someone that loves clothes and thrifting and whatnot. Over here is where I kind of keep all my jackets. I have like some blouses in here and dresses and you know other tops. I have you know some more clothes stored in there. My sunglasses. My shoes are all either up in this little fella or down here. I have some other shoes stored as well. And that's just kind of how I have my uh, closet organized. And yeah, that's my room. Hopefully that was insightful and you guys could kind of 
get a better feel for like my little living space. I'll definitely be making more house related videos in the future, like kind of like a house tour. Everything you saw too is pretty much everything I own in my life besides like my car and like my surfboard. That's kind of the extent of it, which is kind of nice. I don't like having a lot of stuff because I feel like weighed down by it. I don't know, maybe that was a lot too, but for me, for how I've lived in the past, it's definitely a lot less. I watched the documentary, The Minimalist, and that honestly helped me quite a bit get rid of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.